All right, meter box. Oh my. Siphon pump, Mark Two. Test one. Go ahead and throw that in there. Keep my hose out here. And hit my switch. Uh oh. Somebody bumped the cable. Yep, disconnected it. Alright, there we go. Feed it down the driveway here. There we go.
one that I just built actually wasn't my first design. Now, my first design just had the pump down here and it had that washing machine hose directly attached to the uh, the outlet on the pump. And this is just half inch schedule uh, 40 PVC uh, uh, just a little bit smaller than the uh, three quarter and you know that all this was was just a, a structural thing to hold the pump and hold the battery separate from the pump I had taken apart our rechargeable electric weed eater and I was able to get this battery out of it this charging circuit out of it and the activation switch now this, this worked for a great deal of time until uh, something on this circuit board uh, fried and was broken I tried replacing it but I can't get it to work anymore and at that time uh, since that was uh, the resistor on here I guess wasn't working properly and that ended up frying this battery so this battery is no longer good and I, I don't trust that charge circuit anymore so I can't use that uh, charger so I'm gonna rebuild uh, this with this uh, this pump and just have a whole new frame and redo the wiring and put a different battery on it uh, one time but this was version one and version two right here is whenever I decided to go ahead and link up this three-quarter schedule 40 PVC uh, to the pump now whenever I had originally uh, designed this it was too long for the wires and I had to put the battery upside down and plug it in from the bottom but since then the uh, T right here has broken off actually it had broken off up here between the two T's so between the handle that went right here and this one it had broken off it was it was freezing outside so I'm, I'm my best guess is that it was uh, this PVC isn't rated for such cold temperatures and I would advise against using it in the cold so I'm rebuilding this one shorter uh, this is trash and I've went ahead and designed this handle to be up higher and the uh, the spout to be well kind of the same height so the wires are going to extend above the outlet side now with this version I plan on putting the battery uh, pack that I designed on here that way it's properly mounted and secured waterproofed and everything and then I'm gonna have on the lid a hole for the switch to plug into so I'm trying to do away with any version that has all this electrical tape on it you know that's just nasty and unprofessional I'm actually looking for I'm actually looking for uh, an actual battery box that I don't have to 3D print myself. Uh, I use ABS, so I'm always getting these these cracks, especially on the corners. And there's no telling how how long this. I'm trying to twist it and pull it apart right now, but there's no telling how long that that box will last. If I dropped it with this heavy battery inside of it, it'll probably uh, break and it wouldn't be any good then but that is where I am on my current designs this right here is I'm sure is going to be shorter that way it's only just as tall as that box and then I'll have to get a new hose for this one but that's where I am currently with my designs and my ideas on this uh, if you have any suggestions on what I can do 
you know, if there, if you know of a battery box or a, a charger uh, for these uh, lead acid type 12 volt batteries, uh, let me know. I'm currently using a uh, an old stripped down DeWalt charger that is rated between 7.2 volts and 14.4 volts. So this does work uh, currently, but it's not a long-term solution. Now I've I'm already uh, designing like an 18 volt uh, system, but since this is a 12 volt pump, we actually need a step down. So it'll run. Uh, it, it could run any higher batteries, such as 18, 20, or 24 volt batteries. So I'm trying to design it so that you can plug in your own DeWalt tools or, uh, well, the batteries, uh, your own DeWalt batteries, maybe maybe an attachment for the D uh, Black & Decker 18 volt batteries that I currently use. And all that requires uh, what's known as a buck converter, a buck converter, uh, so that it steps down the voltage. If you put a resistor in it, the resistor would overheat because of all the amps that are flowing through it. So, I'm trying to find the best solution for these, and I'd like, because most of the, uh, most of the individuals around here use the DeWalt system, you know, this is the old DeWalt system, this is the 18 volt uh, flashlight, uh, the, the plug-in battery packs, and now everybody's got the 20 volt uh, slide-on packs, and that's whenever the buck converter uh, becomes necessary on the 12 volt pump but I'm also looking at uh, 12 volt battery packs and uh, the charging systems and uh, right now currently those cost just as much as this pump by itself and that that will you know double the cost of me manufacturing these but the, the, those are some more of the ideas that I currently have and I'm working on. But the, these are what I have right now. I've, I've picked up uh, plenty of these batteries. So all my designs currently use these batteries. And uh, stay tuned for any upgrades that I, I might... Uh, well, stay tuned for any upgrades that I might uh, share with this pump. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I'm currently finished with this iteration of this portable uh, water pump. Uh, I am far from finished and I hope you are too. Thank you very much.